Bill Bevins was a journeyman pitcher on the 1947 New York Yankee roster. He was selected to pitch in Game 4 of the 47 World Series. And for eight and two-thirds innings, Bill Bevins held down the Brooklyn offense. No hits. Game was not without his flaws. He did walk 10 batters. But he allowed no hits. Until Cookie Lavagetto, a pitch hitter, doubled home two runs with two outs in the ninth inning. Bevins would lose that game and also never pitch again in the major leagues. Welcome to game episode six of the iconic moments of baseball history. This is Apple Baseball Classics, where yesterday's stars performed through cards and dice. Classic games on our tabletops. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get back. Took me with root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Hello, everybody. This is Appa Brian bringing to you Appa Baseball Classics. Today's game is... Iconic moment number six, Bill Bevins' no-hitter that lasted eight and two-thirds inning until the cookie crumbled when pitch hitter Cookie Lavagello got the first hit of the game and drove in the winning run. Game four, the 1947 World Series. All right, today I'm changing up the presentation a little bit. I'd like to get the actual fields involved. This will be my dice tray, and this is where we'll keep track of the base runners. If there's a runner on first, it'll look something like that, second, and third, something like that when the bases are loaded. And, of course, we still have our trusty scoreboard, which you can get from MoonlightGramsMarketplace.com. All right, we've had our introductions. Let's begin the ball game. <clears throat> James Taylor is a starting pitcher for the Brooklyn Dodgers. He's a grade C pitcher with no modifiers, 10 and 5 with a 3.11 earn run average. Snuffy Sternrise steps in the box for the Yankees. Today we're using APA. We're using somewhat the hybrid game. Still going with the letter grades for the pitchers, but the defense is more exact. Uh, New York is a defensive one team, by the way, and Brooklyn is a defensive column two. 6-5 is a... Pop up right up the chute behind home plate. Bruce Edwards is under it and makes the catch. And there is one down in the top of the first. Here's old reliable Tommy Heinrich. 64 is a 40. Long drive to right field. It might go if it stays fair. It is foul. Strike one. 45. That pitch is wide. It's ball four. Heinrich draws a walk. So that puts a Yankee on first base. And brings up the young catcher, Yogi Berra. The young catcher out of St. Louis, Missouri, is just 22 years old. Here's the first to Yogi. 26 is a 29. Grounded back to the pitcher. Taylor's got it. Throws to second. Retires Heinrich. Two to six. And Barra is on with a fielder's choice. Yogi has average speed of first base. There's two outs. And here's the Yankee Clipper, Joe DiMaggio. Two six is a 24. That's going to be a ground out to the shortstop, Pee Wee Reese. 
Three outs, we go to the bottom of the first. Yankees nothing, and the Dodgers coming to bat. We're right, using the actual starting lineups for game four of the 47 World Series. Bill Bevins was picked to be the pitcher. And uh, he is a great D pitcher, 7 and 13, 3.82 earned run average. Uh, allowed no hits, though, on that day in actuality. And But he did have a struggle with his control. I think he walked eight batters. Here's a pitch to Bevins, or from Bevins, to Eddie Stanky, the leadoff hitter. 54 is a fly ball to right field. Tommy Heinrich is under it, and he makes the grab. One away. Pee Wee Reese, 284 hitter in 1947. Hitting in that second slot, 62 is a 23. That's a ground ball back to Bevins. He fumbles it, and it's going to be an error, E1. And Pee Wee Reese is at first base. Stealing is F21. Jackie Robinson's the batter. Jackie Robinson in his rookie year, 297, 12 homers. There's a pitch to Jackie. 31 is a 9 <clears throat> against a D pitcher. That's going to be a single. And Pee Wee Reese will go to second base. First and second. Dodgers have something cooking here in the bottom of the first inning. There will be no no-hitter today. Here is Dixie Walker. 1-4, 30 is a fly ball to left field. Johnny Lindell is under it and makes the grab. Two outs. Here is Gene Hermansky. 55. That's an 8. Hermansky hits a two-out line drive to right field. Base hit that scores Pee Wee Reese. And Jackie Robinson goes to third. The Dodgers are on the board. One to nothing. Here's a good hitting catcher, Bruce Edwards, 295 and 47. Pitch from Blevins, 51 is an eight. That's a base hit. Run scores, and Hermansky goes to third. Dodgers say hello in the first inning, two to nothing lead. Carl Fiorillo. Forty two, and that is a forty. Fly ball to center field. Joe DiMaggio has it measured and puts it away. That's the end of the first inning, but the Dodgers score twice on three hits and an error. All those runs are unearned. We go to the top of the second, it's Dodgers two and Yankees nothing. Both teams in 1947 had quite a transition on their roster, and one of the new players for the Yankees is their first baseman, George McQuinn. 304 here, 13 home runs. Here's the pitch from Taylor to McQuinn. 31's a 9 against a C. That is going to be a pop out to the second baseman, Eddie Stanky. One down. For baseman, Billy Johnson. 1 6 is a ground ball. Hit to Pee Wee's race, and he throws the first two outs. Johnny Lundell. 16 is a ground ball also to shortstop. Reese handles that perfectly, and the Yankees are retired. 1 2 3. In the second, we go to the bottom of the second. Brooklyn 2 and New York nothing. Also new to the Dodgers uh, roster is the leadoff hitter in the bottom of the second inning, Spider Jorgensen. He's playing third base for Brooklyn. 6-1 is a ground ball to first base taken by McQuinn, slick feeling first baseman for the Yankees. McQuinn records the out on assist and one down. Here's the pitcher, James Taylor. Here's the pitch from Bevins. And I dropped the white dice, so here it comes. 51 is a swing and a miss, strike three. Two quick outs. And to the top of the order, Eddie Stanky. 1-3 is going to be a base on ball. Stanky 
showing some patience, goes to first with two outs. He only stole three bases, so I would say he's not a threat to steal. Here is Pee Wee Reese. 45 is going to be a base on balls. Second walk surrendered by Bill Evans. That brings up Jackie, Jackie Robinson. 1-1 one, one roll, that's a hit column roll. Jackie gets into one, and it is a drive. Hit deep to left center field. Everyone's tearing around the bases. Eddie Stanky scores. Pee Wee Reese scores. And Jackie goes to third with a two-run double. Jackie is two for two. And now with two RBIs, Brooklyn leads four to nothing. Batter is Dixie Walker. 1-4 as a fly ball to the left field. Johnny Lindell makes the catch. Three outs. But after there were two retired, the Dodgers score two more runs and they lead 4 to nothing. The scooter, Phil Rizzuto, will lead off the New York third inning. They're down by 4. 43 is a 29. That's a roller back to the pitcher. Harry Taylor throws the first. One out. Taylor is retired. Seven of the eight Dodgers he has faced. And now we have the pitcher, Bill, Do Bill Devin. 55 is a 21. That will test the first baseman, who is Jackie Robinson. Jackie is a feeling column one, and he makes the play unassisted. Played shortstop in 1945 for the Kansas City Monarchs, did Jackie. All right, top of the order, and Snuffy Sternweiss. 2-2 Two -two roll. That's going to be a single for Sternweiss. That's the first hit for New York. Well, the Dodgers scored with two outs. Let's see if the Yankees can mount a rally with, with two outs. Tommy Heinrichs, the batter. 6-6 six, six, roll. Hit column roll. 43 is just a single. The runner will go to third. So you got Sternweiss at third. Heinrich is at first. And here is Yogi Berra, 280 hitter. And 47, 11 home runs and a little over half a season. First and third, two outs. 46 is a fly ball to left field. That will end the inning. Gene Hermansky puts it away, and the Yankees don't score. We go to the bottom of the third, 4 to nothing, Brooklyn. All right, Gene Hermansky will lead off for the Dodgers. 35 is going to be a base on balls. Hermansky takes first, second time he's been on. That brings up Bruce Edwards, the catcher. Hermansky, not a threat to steal. Does have good speed, though. E28. 42 is a Base on balls, that's already the fourth walk given up by Bevins. All right, the Yankees stir their bullpen. Butch Rensloff gets up. A lot of runs scored yesterday's game in the World Series, so Chandler is not available in the pen. He pitched two innings, and Joe Page pitched three yesterday, so I would say he's not available as well. Cor Forillo steps into the box for Brooklyn, first and second. No outs. Here's a pitch to Furillo. 43 is a 29.
Round to Bevins, whirls and throws to second taken by Rizzuto. Back to first. It's a 1-6-3 double play. Hermansky goes to third. But now we have a totally different inning. Two outs. Man on third and the eighth place hitter at bat who will be walked intentionally. Jorgens takes first. Pitcher Harry Taylor. So first and third. Two outs. Evans goes into the stretch. Here's the pitch. 1-5 is a 21. Hard hit ball to McCann. Tough chance goes off his glove. It's going to be ruled a base hit. For Taylor, Hermansky scores. Edwards goes to second. Brooklyn five and New York zero. Top of the order. And Eddie Stanky. Three of the runs are earned. The two in the first inning were not earned. Here's a pitch to Stanky. 41 is a ground ball to shortstop. This will end the inning. Rizzuto, the scooter, throws the first. Three outs. Brooklyn has scored in every inning. They lead five to nothing. Joe DiMaggio will lead off in the fourth inning. 1-6 is a 28. Ground ball to Pee Wee Reese. Throw to first. One away. Who is better at short, Pee Wee Reese or... Phil Rizzuto, both are rated nines by Epa. George McQuinn's the batter. 42 is a base on balls to McQuinn. Second walk given up by Taylor. McQuinn is a definitely no threat to steal. Billy Johnson. 44 is a seven. A single to center field. McQuinn is going to get to third. First and third. Yankees are threatening. Johnny Lindell is the batter. Dodgers with a five run lead will play the infield back, hoping for a double play. 46 to Lindell is a swing and a miss. Taylor strikes him out. That's his first strikeout. Two outs. The eighth place hitter, Phil Rizzuto. New York walked an eighth-place hitter to get to the pitcher, and it backfired. What will the Dodgers do? They're going to go ahead and pitch to the scooter. 273 hitter. Here's the pitch. 1-1 one, one roll. That's a hit column roll for Rizzuto. And 25 is a 4. Against a C pitcher, that's going to be a triple. And scores McQuinn and Johnson. Two RBIs for the scooter. It's five to two. In the Yankee dugout, Doc Brown gets a tap on the shoulder. He will pitch hit for the pitcher, Bill Bevins. Two outs. Rizzuto's at third. Two runs are in. Here's the pitch to Doc Brown. 51 is an eight. Grounded past the pitcher. And in the center field, Doc Brown comes through with an RBI single. A pitch hit. RBI. Five to three, Brooklyn. All right, that brings up Snuffy Sturmweiss. 42 is a base on balls, and I'll tell you what, the Yankees are storming back. Brooklyn has seen enough. Bert Schotten comes out. He will get Harry Taylor. Actually, Shotton uh, probably didn't go visit the mound. He wore he didn't wear a uniform. He he was like uh, Connie Matt. He dressed in suits all the time, so he probably sent out his pitching coach. So that's it for Taylor. He goes three and two thirds inning, gives up at least three runs. He's responsible for the two men on base, and now pitching for Brooklyn will be. Fireballer Rex Barney, he is a great DW pitcher. He'll be <clears throat> he'll still be a great B. He doesn't get the bump up. Brooklyn doesn't have any left handers in the bullpen. Here's the pitch to Heinrich. 44-7. Base hit for Heinrich. 
One man, Doc Brown, scores. Uh, Storm Weiss goes to third. RBI single for Tommy Henrik. He is two for two with an RBI. And the Yankees are within one. Five to four, Brooklyn. First and third. Here's Yogi Berra. One five for Berra is a eight against AD. That's a base hit. That scores Sternweiss. The other runner goes to third. Yankees have batted around and tied the score five to five. It's a new game. Here's Joe DiMaggio. Can Jolton Joe keep it going? Here's a pitch from Rex Barney. 31 is a base hit. With two outs, the runners advance two bases. Heinrich scores. Barrett goes to third. And apparently Rex Barney was not the answer. Dodgers are going to make another change. The new Dodger pitcher out of Anaheim, California is Hal Gregg. He is a great D pitcher, Y modifier. Pitching to George McQuinn. 1 3, McQuinn gets a walk. That loads the bases. And now it is Billy Johnson. Billy Johnson is 1 for 2. Pitch from Greg, 1 3, that's another walk. That one has an RBI attached as Barra touches home. It's seven to five. Timeout. This will be Hank Beerman. He'll be a grade C for one batter only. There's two outs. Base is loaded. This is Johnny Lundell. 24. That will finally end the inning. It's a swing and a miss. Strike three. But the Yankees scores seven runs in the top of the fourth and they take a seven to five lead all right in the bottom of the fourth inning the Dodgers will have <clears throat> Pee Wee Reese, Jackie Robinson and Dixie Walker they once led five to nothing now they're behind by two Pee Wee Reese is facing Butch Winsloff the new Yankee pitcher grade C no modifiers Winsloff pitched only 41 major league games in his career but got two world Ser series rings pitching for the Yankees in the process he hurt his arm in spring training of 47 and never really recovered from that. Here's a pitch to Pee Wee Reese. 2-6 is a base on balls. Reese will take first. And now Jackie Robinson. Jackie is 2-for-2, two two, single and triple. 46 is a 41 ground ball to Billy Johnson who throws to Sternweiss over to first 5-4-3 double play Yankees turn that quick Pee Wee Reese is slow to get up at second base and he is possibly injured alright looking at Reese's injury number it's J1 so we'll roll on that column now the roll for the injury duration table. 42 is a injury duration of one game. This fourth inning has turned into a mess for the Dodgers. Eddie Mixis will be Reese's replacement when, we, when the Dodgers go back out into the field. Base is clear. Two outs and here's Dixie Walker. 61 is a ground ball to first base, taken unassisted by George McQuinn. Dodgers are retired in the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth, 7-5 to five New York. We're at the bottom of the Yankee order. Rizzuto, the pitcher, and Sternweiss at the top. They stand up 13 batters in the fourth inning. Here we go at the top of the fifth. Phil Rizzuto fa still facing uh, Henry Berman out there. 
36 is a base on balls to the scooter. Dodger pitchers have walked six Yankees. Rosito is an E25 stealing. He will prevent him from stealing at this point in the game. Butch Winsloff will bat. He is swinging away. 46. Swing and a miss. Strike three. One down. Snuffy Sternweiss. Thirty-six. That's a walk. First and second. Here is Tommy Heinrich. Forty-four base hit. Rizzuto scores. Sternweiss goes to second. And Tommy Heinrich is. Three for three for three with two RBIs. Eight to five, New York. Timeout, Brooklyn. It's been a tidal wave of runs. The Yankees actually scored eight runs in the fourth inning. They've got one here in the fifth. New pitcher for Brooklyn is Hugh Casey. Grade C pitcher, no modifiers. He'll be facing Yogi Berra with one out and. Runners on first and second. Here's the pitch to Yogi Bear. 56 is a swing and a miss. Strike three. Two outs. Joe DiMaggio. DiMaggio is one for three. Scored a run. 21 is a fly ball to left field. Caught by Gene Hermansky. That's the end of the Yankee fifth. But they score once more. They lead nine to five. Gene Hermansky will lead off the bottom of the fifth for the Dodgers, down by four runs. Which wins off is still on for the Yankees. 42 is a base on balls to Hermansky. He's been on base all three times. Two walks and a single. Dodgers need base runners. Here is Bruce Edwards, the catcher. Bruce caught 130 games for the Dodgers in 1947. 31 is a nine. Hit on the ground is Sternweiss at second base. He flips to Rizzuto to retire Hermansky. The throw to first is not in time. Fielder's choice for Edwards. One away. Here's Carl Farilla. 295 hitter with eight homers and 47. 23 is a 26. That's the same deal. Four to six fielder's choice. Now Fiorillo's at first with two outs. Spider Jorgensen. 6-4 is a fly ball to right field. Tommy Heinrich has it measured and picks it out of the sky. The Dodgers are out in the fifth. We go to the top of the sixth. Yankees nine and the Dodgers five. Hugh Casey comes on, or still, still on for the Dodgers. The Dodger fans are hoping he can restore some order. In this game, Yankees bats have thundered out seven hits in the last two innings. George McQuinn will lead off for New York. Here's the pitch to McQuinn from Hugh Casey. 31 is a pop-up on the infield. Eddie Stanky calls for it and makes the catch. Billy Johnson, Yankee third baseman, swings from the right side. 23 is a ground ball to... Pee Wee Reese at shortstop, throw to first, two outs. Here's Johnny Lundell. 45 is a base on balls. Lundell has struck out twice, uh, grounded out, and now he's walked. He's on first with two outs. Still Rosita. Twenty-one is a fly ball to left that ends the top half of the sixth. No runs scored. Yankees nine and Dodgers five. Hugh Casey has restored some order for Brooklyn pitching, so he's going to stay in the game and hit for himself. Six-six roll is a base hit for Hugh Casey off Rich Winslow. Of course, the pitcher's steal error is in, standing for never. Eddie Stanky comes up. 
He'll be facing Wensloff with no outs in the runner on first. Wensloff is a primarily a fastball, curveball, and knuckleball pitcher. Here's a stretch and a pitch to Eddie Stanky. 35 is popped up into the air. Yogi Bear sheds the mask and makes the catch in foul territory. Stanky's retired. Here is Eddie Mexis, who came into the game when Pee Wee Reese was injured. 3-3 three, three for Mixus. That's a base hit. Runner goes to second. Or third. Take that back. So now you got the pitcher at third. And Eddie Mixus at first. That brings up Jackie. Robinson is one, a two for three. Single, triple, and rolled into a double play. 56 is a walk. Loading the bases. Dodgers have done what they needed to do. They need a base runner. There are four runs down. And the potential tying run, Fred Walker comes to bat with the bases full. Here's the pitch to Dixie Walker. 54 is a fly ball to right field. Uh, when we play the hybrid, hybrid game, we roll for the depth. Three is medium depth. So Tommy Heinrich settles on enter, medium depth. That's 51. Uh, we subtract Heinrich's uh, arm. 51 minus 33 is 18, plus the speed of the runner at third, who is the pitcher, Hugh Casey. Speed is only two, so that brings up to 20. His chance to score is 11 through 42. That's the second out in the inning, so he's going to try to score. Here's the tag and the throw, safe at home. Dodgers get one. It's nine to six. Now there's two outs. Gene Hermansky. So the bases were full. Runner from third score. Here's the pitch to Hermansky with runners on first and second. 36 is a 33. Pop up on the infield. Phil Rizzuto is under it and makes the catch. Dodgers score one in the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh. Yankees nine and Brooklyn six. Hugh Casey is actually past his fatigue point and one mark against his fatigue, but he's back out there. And the pitcher for New York, uh, Butch Winsloff, will lead off. He's one for two. 44 is a base hit for Winsloff. He's two for three. That boy runs the jacket out to Winsloff. Snuffy Sternweiss. That's two marks against two cases fatigue rating. 55 is an eight. That's a base hit, and the runner goes to second. And now he Casey is tired. Clyde King is working in the bullpen. Tommy Heinrich is a left-handed batter. So this might be his last batter. There's a pitch from Casey to Tommy Heinrich. 26 is a 32. A fly out to right field. One out. Brings up another left-handed batter. Yogi Bear. So Hugh Casey stays out there. There are one out, two on. 52 is a 27. That's a ground out double play, ground ball to third base. Jorgensen steps on the bag, throws to first. Five and five to three. That's the end of the Yankee threat. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning, nine to six, New York. Wenzloff is a rated starter. He's going to remain out there. Uh, he has now into his fourth inning of work. Bruce Edwards leads off, 295 hitter for Brooklyn, 52. Ground ball to third base. That's Billy Johnson, the throw to first. That brings up Carl Fiorillo, one down. 46 is a... 
ground out to the scooter, Phil Rizzuto. Two up and two ground outs. Here's Spider Jorgensen. Got his nickname for Spider due to his defensive quickness. Moving to his left and right, 61, is a ground ball to first base. He flips to Wensloff, covering three ground outs, and the Dodgers are retired easily in the seventh to the top of the eighth, 9-6 to six New York. The Dodgers trot out their sixth pitcher that they've used in this game. This one will be Clyde King. He is a grade B pitcher and a Z modifier. Joe DiMaggio will be his first challenge. DiMaggio steps into the box with a wide batter stance. Hardly takes a stride. Here's the pitch and the swing to DiMaggio hit on the ground to second base. Eddie Stankin scoops it up and throws the first. One out. George McQuinn. One, two is also a ground out to Eddie Stanky. Two outs. Billy Johnson. One, five is a fly ball to center field. The center fielder is Carl Fiorillo. He hauls it in. And the Yankees are retired in order for only the second time in this game. Go to the bottom of the eighth inning. New York, nine, and Brooklyn, six. Pitch hitter will bat for the pitcher in the bottom of the eighth inning. Pete Reeser, longtime Dodgers center fielder, 309 hitter in 1947. Rich Winslow goes into the windup. Here's the pitch, 21. Fly ball to left field. That's Johnny Lindell. One away. Working in the bullpen for Brooklyn is Vic Lombardi. He pitched game... Two, only went four innings. He'll pitch the ninth inning. Eddie Stanky, 56, is a swing and a miss, strike three. Two outs. And now Eddie mixes. One for one. One four is a fly ball to left field. Lindell makes the catch. Three up and three down for the Dodgers. We go to the top of the ninth. New York nine, Brooklyn six. All right, Vic Lombardi goes to the mound for Brooklyn. He is a left-hander, 12-11, 2.99 earned run average. He is a short pitcher, 5'7", 158 pounds. Pitching to Johnny Lindell. 25 is an 8 against a C. That's going to be a base hit for Lindell. That's his first hit in the game. He is 1-4. for four. He did reach on a walk in the sixth inning. Lindell is um, not a threat to steal. Here's the scooter, Phil Rizzuto. Fifty-six is popped into the air. The shortstop Eddie Mixes takes it for Brooklyn. One down. Now the pitcher, Butch Winslow. Two for three. 31 is a nine against a C with a runner on first. That's a 28 ground ball to second base. Stern Stanky goes to the shortstop mixes to retire the runner, Lindell. Two outs, fielder's choice. So Winsloff is running the bases for the third time. There is Sturmweiss, top of the order. 43 is a 29. That's a ground out to the pitcher, Vic Lombardi. Three outs. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Dodgers have three outs left, and they trail by three runs. All right, scheduled to hit for Den Bums is Jackie Robinson, Dixie Walker, and Gene Hermansky. Robinson has been on base three out of four times. Here's the pitch to Jackie. 32 is a ground ball to second base. Snuffy Sternweiss throws out Jackie. One down. Here is Dixie Walker. 52, 27 is also hit on the ground. This time to third base. Billy Johnson with the long throw across. Two outs. Dodgers are down to their last out. That's Gene Hermansky. 275 here and 47. Here's a pitch from Winslow, 43. Little soft roller back to the pitcher. 
He throws the first, and that's the ball game. The final score, the Yankees 9 and Brooklyn 6. We'll be back to wrap it up. In this game, the Yankees fell behind 5 to nothing, but they came roaring back with 8 runs in the 4th inning. With 5 hits and 4 walks, the biggest was a triple by Phil Rizzuto. And um, that gave them command of the game, and they held on and won 9 to 6. New York scored 9 runs on 12 hits, they committed 1 error. The Dodgers scored 6 runs on 7 hits and no errors. The winning pitcher was Charlie Butch Winslow. He went six innings and allowed only one run. The losing pitcher was Rex Barney. Once again, the actual game of the 1947 World Series. This was game four. Bill Bevins just a no-hitter, which would have been the first in World Series history through eight and two-thirds innings. Uh, he did walk ten batters, but and the Yankees also had one error. He, was, uh, he had given up one run, and then Cookie Lavaghetto pinch hit and got a hit. The two outs in the bottom of the ninth to drive in the final two Yankee runs, and the Yankees won the game three to two. Uh, and the Yankees also went on to win the series four games to three in 1947. Our next iconic moment, we'll look at Carl Hubble in his five consecutive strikeouts in the 1934 All-Star game. Uh, it might take me a few days to put this game, that one, together, I'm not sure. So that will go up either tomorrow or the day following. If you've not subscribed, hit the subscription button. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and may God bless.